Hello. Um, we're going to look at quite a tricky concept now, and that is um, a brick like you get in a Brick Breaker style game that first hit cracks, second hit cracks some more, and third hit disappears completely. Um, so for the first, the first thing we're going to do is I've made one brick sprite, it's called Brick 1, and for that I've made three costumes. You're Unfortunately, you're going to have to do this for every brick. Um, the second thing we need to do is to get a variable that keeps count of the number of times this brick's been hit. So to do that, I'm on variables here and I'm going to make a variable called brick one hits. There we go. So there's my variable. Now, if you're making lots of bricks, you're going to have to make lots of variables and they're going to clutter up your game screen. You can hide them by taking the tick out of this box here, but I'm going to show brick one hits just to check that my game's working. Next up, what we need to do is um, set the ball to bounce off the green brick and to add one to brick one hits when it does so. So I'm going to go to the ball here, go to the scripts, and at the moment, this is the bit of the script that makes it bounce if touching edge or touching paddle. Now what I've done here is if touching colour. And I'm going to put that in as well. If touching colour green, and what I'm going to do is duplicate that bit because that's the bounce script. If touching colour green, move back, turn, and we're going to add one to brick one hits. Let so let's see if that little bit works. Hopefully it will. When I hit the brick, it should bounce if it ever hits it. Ah, there we go. I've got two hits there. Good. So it's changing the variable. Now the only thing I'm going to do here is just to make sure I'm going to put in a little weight by 0.1 of a second to avoid it bumping that variable up um, lots for one hit. So it should be one hit, one on the brick hits. Um, <coughs> excuse me. What I'm going to have to do next is go to the brick. And all I've done here is a little script that says, when the green flag is clicked, go to the top here and switch to your first costume. Now, I'm going to add an extra script, which is, when the green flag is clicked, wait until, and I need another operator. And for this, it's going to be, Brick one hits equals one. So there's my one. I can type that in. Brick one hits is there. So wait until brick one hits equals one and then switch to costume. And if you look, my second costume is stage two. There we go. Duplicate that because I can add that on. Wait until brick one hits equals two. Switch to costume stage three. And finally, if I duplicate that again, Wait until brick one hits equals three, but I don't want to switch to a costume this time. I want to hide it. There we go. And if you're hiding anything, you need to make sure it shows up again at the start of the game when you restart. So, one more thing I've got to make sure of on my stage is that at the beginning of the game, I've set my lives to three. Have I also set my brick hits to zero? There we are. Let's see what happens. I've got to try and hit it now. Without losing all my lives. There we go, a couple of hits, you saw the costume go, bang, and it's gone. You could also add in a variable called score, and when brick one hits equals three, you could add one to score. Unfortunately, you're probably have to, going to have to do something like that for every brick you make, but you can always get your first brick right and duplicate it, call it brick 2 and move on. You're going to have to make the variable again and again though. So it's quite a tricky thing to get your head around. But off you go, go and have a go.